Shalom, shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahusha. Today, I'll be coming back to a quick lesson on Lord's thoughts higher than man's. Now, basically, the title basically says what it means. Like the Most High's thoughts are higher than uh, all of our thoughts. Like uh, when you look at King David, uh, everybody just look at King David as a shepherd. shepherd uh, that would uh, just uh, help his father with the uh, uh, with the animals. But most of the time, is a king and a ruler of Israel. But uh, the first verse, like to hit the book of Psalms, chapter ninety-two, verse four and five. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. Time, cause um, cause you might just look at something like it could be anything, and you, might, you could uh, kind of write it off. But the most high, like, is a uh, thinking a uh, one billion times a trillion times infinity times more than you. Like, and it's like even in that one situation, like you could uh, just wonder why the color of uh, white or uh, yellow exists, and you could just be like, mm, maybe it's my eyesight or something. But the most likely could have like a billion reasons why it exists. But the other uh, place I'd like to hit to better state my point is the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 8. Start with verse 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So everything the most high does is higher than everything, really. And uh, you should not question the most high, and you should just take his command. But I just want to get edified, and if you didn't know, the most high's thoughts are higher than yours. I'd like to give all honor and glory to you. How about Shimmy Shalom.